Hi, I'm Craig. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to explain to you a number of features of the Ricoh Theta V using the plug-in technology. I did a bunch of tests and some of them work, some of them doesn't. It gives you a taste for what is possible with the Ricoh Theta V plug-in technology. Thanks. With my Theta V turned on, I call up Visor, press View. Visor now connects to the Theta V and I have a menu system. I'm going to check to see whether Wi-Fi connects. What do you think? Turn it on. Will the Theta V detect my networks? It does. Initially I couldn't use Visor to input the password for the uh, Wi-Fi. Then a friend of mine at Rico, he uh, gave me some hints here. So first thing I needed to do was to enable developer mode. I have the options here. If you don't have it in, uh, enabled, it's uh, the same as an Android, right? So you, you press the build it's number, um, I think it's like seven times or something. It, and after that, then this build, the build uh, comes up. So now I have developer options. Within, within developer options, you can see running services. So I need to stop the camera service. I'm going to stop it. So now if I go back, I can input the password or uh, I can use a keyboard to input text. So now that I can input text, you can see that I'm now connected to Wi-Fi. This is just to test the functionality of the Theta V. Obviously, when you're using it, you're going to need to build your plugin to uh, with the SSID, somehow save it into the parameters, and then. Uh, have the plugin automatically connect to the Wi-Fi, but this is just to test whether um, there's any problems connected to the Wi-Fi, and it's normal, the same as in a normal uh, smart smartphone. So another test I did was just using the the standard WebView browser, whether internet access does go out. So. It does appear to work. This is a web page for theta360.guide. And you can use it like a normal um, smartphone. So it's just good to know that HTTP access uh, does does work from the, so you could use um, various types of post or get commands to pull uh, data down. Next thing I tested was just a normal note. This also worked fine. Then we got to some more interesting things. So you probably can't hear it because the Theta V, which isn't actually close to this mic, is actually playing the music or um, the actual speech from Martin Luther King. So it does, sound files do play directly from the Theta V speaker.
I did use Messenger. I don't think uh, my friend Jesse is online right now. So it's going directly from the camera. This is not an emulator. It's going from the Theta V. The Theta V's virtual screen is just being proje projected onto my Windows desktop. The uh, calculator does work. So I wasn't able to get the Google Play or Google Drive services working immediately. I'll probably have to um, modify it or you know write a plugin to push to it although i do think that other people in the community have gotten it to work from the plugin it, it, it wouldn't work just from the apks that you can download from the google play store hi thanks for joining me i hope you learned a lot about the new plugin technology and you got pretty excited about it like i did. so if you want to join the plugin program please contact my friend jesse kasman his email is in the link below thanks